Now, many patients have the erroneous assumption that medications such as Propecia and Rogaine don't work on the that the medicines were originally tested just in the back of the scalp. And so the FDA limits uh, the claims that they can make um, on uh, what they can say. Um, but all of us that use these medications know that they work um, in the front of the scalp just as well in the back. The important thing, though, is that they don't grow hair on bald scalp. What these medications do is reverse the miniaturization process. When you're losing your hair, you don't go from a full head of hair to being bald. Gradually, what happens is, is the hair is decreased in length and in diameter. And this thinning process called miniaturization is what eventually ends up in baldness. And while the hair is thinning, there's a window for the medications to reverse it, to actually elongate the hair and increase its thickness. And both Propecia and Rogaine will work uh, to do this regardless of whether this process is going on in the back or the front of the scalp. So um, if someone tells you that, oh, you should have surgery because the medicines don't work in the front, say, whoa, 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 let's, let's give the medicines a try. And it's also important to have these medications uh, uh, be tested at least for a year. Um, the medications work very slowly, you know, as does surgery, you know, surgery takes a year to grow in, so you can't rush these things. Um, but um, after using both Propecia and R Rogaine for a year, then we'll have some sense of whether uh, we've exhausted our, our medical options and then go to the next step, which, which would be um, a hair transplant. Um, there's, a lot, there's been a lot of um, uh, publicity about the side effects of Propecia. Um, Propecia does have um, side effects, perhaps at about 5% of patients. Um, very rare uh, cases of side effects persisting after the medications have been stopped. And this is, of course, a uh, you know, big concern. Um, and we've been looking into this um, in detail. Um, and uh, it's not there's a cause and effect, effect relationship with a medication is actually causing the persistence or there may be some other reasons. Um, examples of other reasons could be certainly a psychological effect after the medicine is stopped or that the patient would have from some other cause. Uh, sexual dysfunction is a relatively common, especially as people get older. And so um, it's very important to uh, put everything in perspective. Um, unfortunately, it's very difficult to show cause and effect in this situation data needs to be um, to try to uh, sort out what exactly is going on.